Good morning, friendos. Today, I'm going to show you how you can have your local time appear on your stream. So to start, you're going to go to Google and copy and paste this link here. It's in the description if you like. And you're just going to click continue here. And we're going to be creating a link that we can use as a browser source in OBS. So you can click any one of these if you like it. I'm just going to click standard because I'm going to customize it here in a second. Uh, down in the bottom right, you can see that there is a preview of what your clock will look like. So we'll be working from that. Uh, start by turning it to uh, Australia English, so right there. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because it'll give the correct uh, style of date. It'll be day, month, year, which is obviously correct. So make sure that that is the first change you make. And uh, now you're going to go to whatever you like here. You can choose date and time. You can have the only the date if you like. But I like date and time. I think it's good. I'm going to get rid of the weekday. And uh, I'm just going to shorten the month name. And yeah, that's pretty good. Click continue here. And I'm going to choose Arial Black. There's not too many fonts here, but if you find something you like, that that's good. And uh, what you want to do now is turn this right the way up. Because if we need to enlarge it or like do anything to it in OBS, it'll make it a bit more detailed. So turn the font right the way up. We can resize the actual time window later. You can click on the font color. Uh, usually I use white, but for this demonstration, I'll use this. If you choose white, you'll see that it's entirely blank. It is still there, don't worry. But for this demonstration, to make it a bit easier, see, I'll just click that. And you can make an underlined font if you like. I'm not going to bother doing that. And this is already a bold font, so it doesn't really matter. So click continue here, and you can have a border if you want or anything. You can play around with these settings a bit. I like the simplistic look. This is what gets you a transparent background. If you click on transparent here, uh, you can see if I had it like it was before, there is a white background. So you can't, it's kind of hard to see because this preview window is white, but if you click transparent, there is actually no background now. So that's what I like, and you'll see that shortly. And you can align it to wherever you want. I'm just going to keep it aligned in the center. Click continue here. And now we're going to go into this window here where it says HTTPS copy and paste this link right here. So don't worry about all this other stuff. Uh, this link right here is the link to this actual time window. This is meant to be a for a website. So just click this link and it'll work. So minimize out of that. We're gonna come back into OBS, click on this plus right here, click on browser and call something like local time. And then in, where it says URL here, control V your link that you just copied. And you can see you've now got a time. So it is a little bit trippy because display capture, but I'll show you what it looks like really in a second. But what I'm going to do is I like to hold alt and you can click on these things. You can see these yellow lines and this is how you crop in OBS. So, and now I'm going to get rid of OBS. However, you can still see the time. So this is just my desktop and you can see the time on your stream. So yeah. I hope you found this helpful and yeah, hope you have an epic new year.